Analyzing and forecasting hurricanes is a little bit like trying to put a 1,000 piece puzzle together with more than half the pieces missing because the hurricanes form over the data void oceans. A hurricane is a very large storm that can impact large numbers of people when it comes ashore after being born and strengthening over the warm waters of the oceans in the tropics. We at the National Hurricane Center don't just forecast hurricanes, we live the hurricane problem ourselves. 2005 was actually my first year as a hurricane forecaster at the National Hurricane Center and I experienced decades of hurricane activity in just one year. It's a year many of us will never forget. Foremost in our memories I think is Katrina, but we don't want to forget Rita and Wilma and Dennis. Uh, it was a bad year. But I was a hurricane forecaster at the time, issued many of the advisories for Katrina, including monitoring the aircraft data when we saw it go to a major hurricane. I'll never forget the silence on the operations floor when we got those data in, announcing that it was a Category 5. Our science is evolving and hurricane forecasts continue to improve, especially in terms of forecasting where the hurricane is going to go. We're not getting better yet on forecasting how strong the hurricane will be. Storms like Sandy in 2012, Isaac in 2012, Ike in 2008, none of those were major hurricanes on our wind scale, but they were major impacts because they were large storms and they produced a lot of water-related hazards. People often think of hurricanes as a big wind machine, and they are. Tornadoes can be spawned by the hurricane, and you could have a very small area for a very short period of time under a tornado warning, whereas the larger area is under a hurricane warning. Tornadoes are just one of the many hazards. Storm surge, the ocean water coming onto normally dry land, can be devastating and deadly, and historically has taken the most lives in hurricanes. Storm surge and wind don't always occur in the same place and the same time. And even if the winds aren't really, really strong, you can have devastating storm surge like we saw in Sandy. And so we are coming up with a new warning, a storm surge warning, separate from the hurricane warning, which will focus on the wind. We want people to focus less on what kind of system it is, what its status or category is, and focus more on the individual hazards that you might experience where you live as this storm approaches. It's about having resilient communities and structures that have the best chance of keeping us safe during the storm so that the storm itself does less damage and the aftermath and recovery are less painful and we get back to our normal daily lives more quickly after the storm goes through. Hurricane preparedness starts well before there's a hurricane on your doorstep. It starts with understanding the hazards that you could experience where you live. 